back to the most recent installment of the Grow Socially Summer video series for the week of June the 20th. My name is Lou. And I'm Jason Pinto. All right, we're going to get started with the action here. Number five, Tom, Twitter. They said in the next couple months they're going to roll out uh, promoted tweets right on top of your timeline. So no matter how far down you scroll, the promoted tweets are going to be right on top of your page. So this is Twitter's way of really jumping into making some real advertising money. So That's cool. Your thoughts? I think that's uh, that's really cool. I mean, if I had a tweet I wanted to make sure everybody saw, I would definitely want to promote that. A few million I'd dollars. I'd pay for it. Yeah, a couple million. Sure. On our, our salary here pocket. alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on our kidding. salary here alone, I think oh, I'm going to do three or four of those a Easily. Day. Easily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. be a problem. Definitely. Um, number four. This week's number four was pretty interesting. I was on Mashable earlier, and I stumbled across an article that listed the top ten brands who aren't looking so good out there. Um, sure USA can. brands, people just guests don't want them anymore. They're shutting them down. They're selling them. See you later. Some um, actually said they won't be around by 2012. Yeah. So their days are numbered unless they change yeah. things around. What are some of the brands, Tom? Well, I actually have them written right here. Let me put my glasses on. Um, no, I definitely can't see okay. those. Um, number one, Sony Pictures. Number two, A and W Restaurants. Yeah. I've maybe seen two of those in my life. So, uh, Saab. Any of you with a Saab out there? It's a nice, reliable automobile. I'm sorry. American Apparel. Mm -hmm. Sears. Uh, that's too bad. I get. I got my boat shoes there. So. It's too bad, but Sony yeah. Ericsson, another Sony name there. It's too bad too. That's two Sonys. Uh, Sony, yeah, they must be having some trouble in the oh, Sony must be. department. Kellogg, this is the one I'm saddest about. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Like that was my childhood right there. That they're just gonna throw away. That is crushing. Unbelievable. What am I gonna have to eat? Frosted Minis. That's just Actually, torture. Those are delicious. That's just torture. Um, MySpace. I didn't even know it was still around, so good for them. Good for them being around until 2012. Yeah, yeah, good for them. Met all my middle school girlfriends on MySpace. No, I didn't actually. What was the next one? Um, Soap Opera Digest. It's uh, a a magazine. My mom... You seem to know a lot about it. uh, Number 10, the last one, Nokia. So, see you later. Yeah, I guess that's, that's enough of that, so... It's too bad, but... They're all even. We'll by 2012. Yeah, yeah. We'll go next. Uh, then. Number three. Yeah, UFC. Yeah, this one was kind of exciting. Um, we got we sent out a hashtag. Uh, top ten. Uh, GS top ten. So we could pick five out of it, and uh, we got a few back. First one we got was uh, from T Benny D, my friend uh, Willow out there. He's actually a friend of mine. Um, how you doing, Willow? Uh, he was telling us that the UFC paid fighters five thousand dollars of a bonus for interesting tweets and the amount of followers that they receive, which is I thought that was kind of cool because it's just an extra promotion and they're always kind of like promoting. I mean, UFC and any kind of like the fighting stuff to always promote themselves. I think it's pretty cool. They actually uh, UFC president Dana White set aside half a million dollars for this initiative, and I actually think this is another great example of why UFC is doing so much better than boxing. Um, up until recently, they, they were really doing a lot better than the NHL, too, um, <coughs> just because they seem so much more willing to um, adapt and do things that are, are much more compatible with a, a cable audience that everyone can see. So UFC kind of gets it. They're kind of with the times. It's innovative. It is innovative, and that's, that's honestly, that is why, one of the reasons why no one watches boxing anymore. So. Whatever happened to WWF? Stone Cold Steve Austin That's and a totally different thing. I I miss those days those though. Those are totally different though. I'm gonna tweet about that later and find out. All right, you can track them um, down. Yeah, let me know. Number two. I was gonna ask you what number two was. Oh, it's the juice. Tom. Not the uh, oh, is it? It is the juice. The juice. O.J. Simpson. He might have confessed. He might not have confessed. We don't know. But it was all over social media the last week that he may have confessed to Oprah or not. <laughs> it's. There's conflicting reports right now. You know. There are conflicting reports right now that 
Tom, you want to go the rest of the way? Did I distract you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well I, I know. But you're conflicting reports. This was a tweet we got from uh, Printing USA, our friend Aaron out there. Um, OJ confesses apparently. I guess it was a it was a rumor, but I don't know if it's a rumor or not. It just kind of goes to show how that kind of information will spread quickly, which leads us to our number one. Absolutely, big big public triumph for enemy. social media. Number one. Was All he right, number so one? I don't know if he was. Well, he was the highest profile. He was up there. Yeah. Yeah. Osama bin Laden, but uh, well, yeah, got yeah. rid of him. Yeah. So. What happened to him? Uh, Osama. I think he went on vacation. Washington, but I don't know. Okay. Um, but Whitey Bulger, he, they got him. Locked him we up, got and him. Uh, we got him. Katie Sadlier at Katie Sadlier, she sent us this one in earlier. Um, Whitey Bulger, I guess you know he was hiding out in California. For years now, and you know, even his next door neighbors didn't know it was him. Nice and condo. The FBI was searching for him in a traditional manhunt way for 16 years. They put a picture out on Twitter, Twitter, and three hours later, they had Whitey and his yeah. lovely 61-year-old girlfriend. It's amazing. Yep. And I mean, he was kind of a, like a local legend around here because uh, we're you know close to Boston, the Winter Hill Gang. He's kind of a local legend in these parts. So I, uh, I mean, it's. I think uh, at this point, it's it's good they caught him. I think they linked him to 19 murders, <laughs> and good. and that's only the ones that they knew of. And uh, just the fact that they pulled a guy like that in just goes to show you how the the power of the social networks these days easily. Three hours, they put up the picture, and boom, he was in. there he is. It's impressive. Cuffs. Yeah, yeah it was impressive. Good week for Twitter. Absolutely. Good week for Twitter. So, Tom, anything else? Um, this week? I. T- this week we we released my mobile made easy. Yeah. Could uh, I'm gonna show you a QR code right now. Bing. Um, that was that was a noise. This uh, scan the QR code right here, and uh, you can check out our my mobile made easy site. Maybe get one for yourself uh, or someone you know. Put it on a business card, resume. Definitely. There's so much you can do with it. Oh, uh, done. But um, yeah, we also got two new guys working with us this week. We sure do. Yeah. The Foley boys. They're uh, they're behind the camera right they're now. They're behind the. Say hi, guys. How you doing? How's it going? I'm filming. I'm Trevor. Yeah, they sound just like their father, yeah. and they also look just like them. So if you see them around, if you know John, just miniature versions. False. <laughs> Close enough. All right. All, All right. right. So that's uh, I guess that's that's it for this week. Uh, if you have any any more stories you want to hear within the next week or. Whatever, tweet them to us. GS uh, trending topic, GS top ten. We'll stick with that one. We'll top ten. Send us your top ten. Whatever you think is in that top ten category, we'll pick five out of there and we'll uh, we'll talk about them on here. So you can also follow us at Lucy Maglio, at Tom R. Barry, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.